peepers and welcome back to my channel I'm sorry it took so long to get this video out but I am back from vacation and ready to make some more art I did have a slight eye problem during this project but thankfully that is under control so we are ready to roll let's get started with the concept art I did a poll earlier in the month on what kind of dragon Aquarius should be and it was a landslide that this dragon should be a Chinese lung, which I totally agree with since the Chinese lung is associated strongly with the element of water. So I had a lot of fun playing around with the color and seeing what I would want this drake to look like. While I was making this drake, I wasn't settled with the antlers, so I switched it over to fish fins and I really like that design a lot better. Next on the agenda would be the eyes. I decided to go with gold and blues for this one, mostly to match the Aquarius uh, little glitters that I acquired recently. I absolutely love how vivid they turned out. With the eyes complete, I can move on to the head. I have the concept art on my iPad off to the side so I can follow what I wanted this head to look like. So you can see me adding the whiskers and you know, putting in the smaller details here. But sadly it was around the head that my eye started giving me issues. So here's a quick montage of the head. Here we have the small details and the whiskers complete. fairy film fins, as well as the amethyst headpiece. A quick paint job with little white freckles. And the wrapping of the whiskers. And now on to the feet. With my eyes still giving me issues here, I didn't really want to sculpt the entire foot. So I looked at some tutorials and found a good way to use my batting to make the feet poseable. And now my dragons have squish beans. I really like that I can make the toes poseable now. It gives more range of poseability. And now for Aquarius's jar. I didn't have any baby oil on hand, but I mostly just used a recipe for simple potion bottles that most makers use. I just pour in the jojoba oil, add some dye, and some glitter. It's a little messy to make, but at the same time, the end result is so worth it. And honestly, it's a really fun little side project to do. I also ended up adding the Aquarius glitters that I use for the eyes. I mean, since this is the Aquarius doll after all. <laughs> then you give it a little shake make a wish and you have yourself a potion bottle. I ended up adding a couple details later. <laughs> it looked cooler with the wax and the little amethyst gem on it. And it's so much fun to shake up. And now onto the body. Since this is Aquarius, I really wanted to stick with the water themes. So I chose a dark blue body, white mane, the white scales, and the sinewy body. Though I did go with a purplish kind of belly, just to offset the blue and give more depth to the doll.
And now for the hard part. I honestly don't know why I was having such a hard time with the sewing machine this round, but right now it's in getting the tune up, so hopefully I have it back before I can start the Pisces. Once I get my groove on, just a couple quick zips of the sewing machine and the body is ready for the next step. Next on the agenda would be the skeleton of the body. I had a really fun time doing this one since the head was lighter, but at the same time I kept having to put her on her head in order to get the skeleton in right. So the fins ended up pinning backward like she's giving me a bad look. Like, how dare you put me on my head? <laughs> With the skeleton complete, I can go on to the batting. I know I can really just stuff the doll and be done with it there, but having the skeleton wrapped in the batting helps keep the legs in place, as well as keep from uh, smaller wires poking out from the body. And it makes her more stable. To finish off the batting, I add her little heart. Just a little addition for every drake. And finally, we're coming into the final stretch of this drake. And this is still where my eye is giving me problems. So every now and then you'll see me take off my glasses just because my eyes are not focusing on the stitches. <laughs> Like I said, this strike was a bit of a challenge, mostly because my eye decided to have a fit. <laughs> Once the body has been stitched up, I move on to stitching up her legs. And with the feet being fabric, it was so much easier to attach the leg fabric to the feet fabric. And with these few last stitches, Ripple, Guardian of Friendship, is complete. Tides come and tides go. Best to go with the flow. Life has many pearls to offer. Let's find them together. Let's dive deep and explore the shores, as friendship is key to open many doors. And that concludes Aquarius. She was so much fun to make, uh, give or take a couple of issues along the way with my eye, but she was so much fun to make. Be sure to stay tuned for when I start up Pisces. If you'd like to support my channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a poll or a drake. And if you could follow me on Patreon, that would be so awesome. I'll have all my links down in, down below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.